Hello friends of Illustrator! This is just a super short tutorial and reminder to myself how to efficiently work with 2D texture patterns. I'm working on a project where I have created this little character. I wanted him to look a little bit more rusty and dirty, inspired by the game Machinarium, which I really love. My first approach was not really effective. I was simply duplicating the shape I wanted to apply a texture to. After adding the texture and applying a clipping mask, it looks great, but this technique has two downsides. First, I always end up with two shapes, one for the solid color and one with the texture, so it's pretty hard to keep a well-organized layer structure and to move things around. And when I started tweaking the shapes, I always went out of sync, so I had to be really careful and do all the work twice. So not really a good approach. And the second problem I realized after the actual creation process, when my colleague, an expert in Adobe After Effects, started to update the textured uh, artwork in After Effects, uh, I just heard a big scream because the character did not survive the update. It was really a big mess. So after some research, we realized that Adobe After Effects does not use the actual shape for the boundaries, uh, but the original texture rectangle. Um, and even if it's clipped and not really visible, so that's really uh, a big problem. So here is the solution, and kudos to Monika Gause, my Illustrator go-to expert from Hamburg, Germany, for this tip. So let me quickly walk you through this step by step. So here is the character, the before and the after version, and I have prepared another artboard in Illustrator, so here we see exactly uh, a copy that looks exactly like the, um, the original one. So we can go over to Photoshop, for example, and we have here a texture that I was taken um, from my iPhone, um, but of course you can use any texture you can find on, uh, on Google, for example. So simply copy this texture and go back to Illustrator, and here we can place this right on the stage. And now we can simply move this or drag this um, texture and drop it in the swatches panel. So now it lives as a as a swatch in this panel and we can remove it from the stage again. So now let's um, tackle the head for example first. So we make sure that we only select the head shape. And now we can go to the appearance panel and here we find the fill with a solid color. That is great because we do not want to change this. We want to add a texture on top of this color. So we can use this little uh, icon down here, which says add a new fill. So when we click this, we get another fill layer. And now we can use the swatch we've just created, just like this. And now you already see um, we have this great texture, but it's a little bit too intense, but we can still tweak that. So go to the opacity section, and here you can tweak the opacity. But you can also use different blend modes. I think you may be uh, familiar with that technique uh, if you know Photoshop, for example. So I like uh, the soft light, so it's not really that intense. And we can still change the opacity, but I think I really love this, this look. And uh, we can also um, use different or several uh, textures on one shape. So it, was, it would be the same technique. Just add another fill layer and add the texture you want. So that's really great. And um, yeah, so we already have our texture with no additional layer. So it's really one shape with this look. Um, but sometimes it's not really enough. So we have to tweak the texture. And that is really simple. Uh, and that was the, the tip that Monica gave me. So this is really great. So make sure you have the shape selected with the um, pattern fill and now you can use a special shortcut and if you hold that down you can move it around you don't have a preview but it's really uh, not a big deal so you can move just uh, can move the mouse a little bit around and now you see we're actually moving the texture and that is really great so it's really simple to tweak the texture to get the look you're really looking for and that's not limited to just moving the texture around, but you can also use the scale tool, for example, and again, at the same shortcut, so you can 
scale the texture, and you can even rotate the texture, just like this. And it's really simple to, um, to, to get a character with a little bit more soul and a little bit more uh, yeah, uh, roughness, uh, just like this character. And the great thing, as I mentioned before, is that this technique uh, is non-destructive, and you can use it um, to export your artwork, um, for example, to Photoshop and even After Effects without um, having to deal with all the texture uh, stuff. So I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe this channel if you want more. Um, give me some feedback in the channel. So I would love to produce a little bit more um, from this project, for example. So stay tuned.